So um, let's do that same sort of analysis um, with this um, hydrogen cyanide. Um, so we'll see how the uh, central carbon rehybridizes okay, to make um, the molecular orbital. So um, carbon, right, is what we're looking at. Um, and then we got to look up at the periodic table, find where carbon is, and draw its molecular orbital diagram for its valence. Okay, so when we do that, we notice it's got a 2s and it's three 2p's. And it's got one, two, three, four electrons. Okay, so what's going to happen here? So, what do you know what the hybridization of this is just from bond angle? Do you remember what that is? S S P. It's S P, right? So, knowing that should kind of promote you to get the right answer here. Okay, so it's S P, right? That carbon is S P hybridized. So. It's going to rehybridize. Taking this S and this P orbital. Okay. So what is it going to make? Guys. Two SPs, right? <coughs> And still going to have those two P's, those two two P's. Right, you know that already, okay? Because a triple bond is what? Three bonds, right? But one, two of them are made by what kind of orbital? Oh, P orbital. P orbital, right? <coughs> so let's fill this stuff up, okay? So how many electrons do we have going in? Four. Four, right? So how are they going to fill? So one, two, and then these ones are going to go up there when those two get filled, or when those two bond, okay? Because the sigma bonds will happen first, okay? So you're going to have a, a sigma bond with your 1s orbital with your h, and uh, your sp orbital with your n, too. Your n is going to be sp hybridized, too, okay? So these, these sigma bonds will happen first, and then these pi bonds will happen next, okay? And then, the, in fact, the uh, hybridization for the nitrogen will look very similar to this. That's a, that's a tough question, though. 